Well, good morning, children, and welcome to Tabernacle Cardiff Sunday School.、Uh, let's start our time together as we usually do with a word of prayer.、Uh, so let's make sure that we're sat nice and still. Let's have our hands together and our eyes closed. Our gracious God and our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for today.、Uh, we thank you that it is your day. And we thank you, Lord, at the beginning of your day that we can come to Sunday school to learn about you. Lord, draw near unto us, Lord, we pray wherever we are. And we pray that you will pour out your Holy Spirit, Lord, to each and every one of us, Lord,、uh, during Sunday school. Help us now, we pray, for we ask all these things、uh, in our Saviour's name, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, let's、uh, begin Sunday school as we usually do by singing our Sunday school prayer, which is Father in this place of worship. Let's remind ourselves now, shall we,、um, about what we looked at in Sunday school last week.、Uh, for those of you、uh, that were with us, you'll remember、uh, that we continued、uh, in our series、uh, on people who followed the Lord Jesus Christ.、Uh, now, last week、uh, we looked at two ladies, didn't we?、Uh, now, can anybody remember、uh, the names of these two ladies that we looked at? Well, that's right, it was Mary and Martha. And uh, they uh, had uh, an audience, I suppose,、um, with the Lord Jesus Christ.、Um, and、uh, one was uh, busy uh, cleaning the house and making sure that everything was ready. And the other, that was Martha, and the other, Mary,、uh, she was sat waiting in awe of the Lord Jesus Christ.、Uh, we learned that word last week, didn't we, in our lesson. Uh, respecting the Lord Jesus Christ and eager to listen to what he had to say. And we learnt that、uh, we can be full of the things of this world, like Martha. We can be distracted、um, by the things of this world.、Uh, but we all need to be like Mary.、Uh, really, we need to、um, stop what we're doing, we need to sit, and we need to listen. Um, to what the Bible teaches us, to what the Lord Jesus Christ teaches us through His Word, and how we need to、um, see our sin, how we need to ask the Lord to forgive us for our sins,、uh, and to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, that reminds me now、um, of our memory verse that we looked at、uh, last week,、um, which will come up on the screen now. Um, it was this one.、Uh, Favour is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And that was in Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 30. Now, and there's a couple of words in there I just want to explain to you.、Um, you've got there, favour is. Uh, deceitful.、Uh, that's a big word, isn't it? Deceitful.、Um, it means、um, a lie, I suppose. It could mean if you're、uh, being deceitful, you're not telling、uh, the truth. And uh, beauty uh, is vain.、Uh, it's all about self.、Um, and、uh, those two things, beauty and favour, they're very much、um, an outward、um, uh, appearance, I guess. Um, that the world sees favour and beauty.、Um, but God does not look at the outward appearance 
of man or even boys and girls. God uh, looks at the inward, at the heart, uh, at the soul. And this verse tells us that. But a woman that feareth the Lord. Um, by feareth, we don't mean as afraid. Um, it's uh, almost like uh, in awe or in, in respect. It's a godly fear. Um, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And God will be pleased uh, with those that fear the Lord. And so it's a lovely verse, isn't it? And it talks about the outward things. Uh, but what's more important uh, is the state and, and what your soul looks like to God. So let's say it once again. Uh, before we take the words uh, off the screen. Um, so say it with me, I'll say it slowly. Favour is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And that's Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 30. OK, so we'll say it once more together before we take the words off. Um, OK, so say it again with me. Favour is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And that is Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 30. Okay, so we'll take that uh, from the screen now and see if we can uh, say that uh, together. Uh, so say it with me, I'll say it slowly. Favour is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And that's Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 30. Well, let's uh, bring that back up onto the screen now. And there we can see um, our Instagram post um, uh, from last week with our memory verse there from Proverbs 31 and verse 30. Uh, and we can see there, we can see, uh, you can just make out uh, there's some uh, lily pads with some lovely, beautiful flowers um, uh, that we can see again from God's uh, creation. Uh, some lovely colours. Uh, they go with the background as well, don't they? The lovely purples and the violets um, that we can see uh, there. So that's um, a lovely image there uh, from a lake uh, down in um, uh, Sydney, Australia, I'm told. So again, another one from the southern islands um, of this world. So um, uh, yeah, that's our memory verse uh, for uh, this week. Um, and uh, uh, we'll say it once more uh, together. Favour is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Uh, from Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 30. Well, let's uh, sing our first hymn together. Uh, and we're going to sing uh, this one. To God be the glory, great things he hath done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son who yielded his life an atonement for sin and opened the life gate that we may go in. Yeah. 
Well, it's now time to turn to the Word of God.、Uh, so, if you have your Bibles、uh, with you,、uh, could you turn with me, please,、uh, to the New Testament?、Um, we're going to be、uh, in the book of Luke again.、Uh, that's the third、uh, book of the New Testament. Remember Matthew, Mark, and then Luke.、Um, and we're going to turn to、uh, chapter nineteen.、Uh, you can see it's up on the screen. And we're going to read from verse one through to verse ten.、Uh, so, let us hear. The word of God. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree, to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up, and saw him, and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste, and come down, for to day I must abide at thy house. And he made haste, and came down, and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come. To seek and to save that which was lost.、Uh, may God、uh, bless to us that portion of His Word. Well, let's now come to our heavenly Father、uh, now in prayer. So let's make sure that we're sat nice and still. Let's have our hands together and our eyes closed. Our gracious God and our loving heavenly Father, we thank you for today.、Uh, we thank you, Lord, that it is your day, and we thank the heavenly Father that thou art、uh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords.、Uh, we thank you, Lord, that、uh, you reign in heaven above. Lord, we thank you that you are the great Creator, the great Comforter,、uh, the great、uh, Provider. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that、uh, you made everything. Lord, we thank you for、uh, all the、um, birds and the animals and all the flowers,、um, all your wonderful creation, Lord, that we can see、uh, outside, Lord. And we would ask and pray,、uh, Lord, that as we look upon your creation,、uh, that we would think about、uh, worshiping you, Lord, and glorifying you. Lord, we thank you and praise you for this time now in Sunday school.、Uh, we think of this、uh, lesson we are about to hear, Lord. We pray. That you will prepare our hearts, Lord. We pray that you will grant us listening ears, Lord. We pray that you might give us concentrating minds, take away any distractions, Lord. We pray, and Lord, we pray that、uh, you would、uh, give us understanding hearts, so that we might see our need of a saviour.、Uh, Lord,、uh, draw near to us now, wherever we are, for we ask all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Well, before we come to today's lesson, we're going to sing again,、uh, and we're going to sing、um, a Sunday school favourite、um, that speaks about uh, God um, praising the Lord God,、uh, our Creator and our Maker, God who made the earth, the air, the sky, the sea, who gave the light its birth, careth for me. And as you sing, look at verse four:、uh, God who sent His Son, that's the Lord Jesus. To die 
on Calvary. He, that's the Lord Jesus, if I trust in him, will care for me. children, it's lovely to be able to be with you again. Last week we heard about two sisters called Martha and Mary and this week I'm going to tell you what happened when Jesus passed through a town called Jericho and found a man who was lost. Well, when I was a little girl, um, my mum used to take my brother and myself down to Barry Island in the summer. And there were always lots and lots of people there. And more often than not, I got lost. I'd be looking at something and the next minute I'd look up and my mother and my brother were nowhere to be seen. But there was a Red Cross tent there near Barry Island and all the lost children could go there and wait for their mum, dad or carer to come and find them. There were always a lot of children crying. And I can remember sometimes getting very nervous because my mum took quite a time to come and find me, but she always did. And today I'm going to tell you about a man who was lost. His name was Zacchaeus, and Jesus had come to find him. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, and he knew that he was going to be crucified there. But on the way, he passed through a small town called Jericho. And Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming, and he desperately wanted to see Jesus find out who he was. Now, Zacchaeus was not a nice man at all. In fact, he was quite a nasty person. You see, he was a tax collector. And this is what he did. The Romans had conquered Israel. The Romans were the enemy because they just marched in and took over the country. And they wanted to make money out of the country. They wanted to send the money back to Rome. And so they made the people pay taxes. That is, they charged the money. And they used Jewish men to take the money from their own people. These tax collectors became very rich because if somebody owed £10 in taxes, the tax collector would take 15 and keep five pounds for himself. They were stealing from their very own people, from people who couldn't afford to pay so much money because they lived in poverty. Well, Zacchaeus was one of these tax collectors. In fact, he was so good at swindling and cheating people out of their money that he was very, very rich and he lived in a palatial house. 
uh, he was collaborating with the enemy and the people despised him for it. He would never go to the synagogue and worship God. He was greedy and he was dishonest. Well, when Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming through Jericho on his way to Jerusalem, he was really excited and he desperately wanted to see Jesus. But there was one big problem. You see, he was so short that he wouldn't be able to see Jesus over the crowd. And also everybody hated so much, they wouldn't allow him through. So in desperation, he ran and climbed up a tree so he could get a better view. And there he waited. He was getting really excited as he could hear the people, the crowd coming nearer and nearer. Well, then the most amazing thing happened. Jesus stopped directly under the tree where Zacchaeus was. He was amazed. Then Jesus called his name, Zacchaeus. How did Jesus know his name? Well, Jesus is the son of God, so he knows all things. And then an even more amazing thing happened. Jesus told Zacchaeus to come down straight away because he was going to stay at Zacchaeus's house that day. It was as if Jesus expected him to be up the tree. He knew his name and his circumstances, and he had gone specially to Jericho to find Zacchaeus. Well, Zacchaeus came down straight away. He was so very, very happy. Up until then, he had been lost, lost to God. He didn't belong to God, and he wasn't part of God's family. But now he was very happy that Jesus had come to find him and that he knew all about him. And God knows us. He knows our names and he knows all about us. And like Zacchaeus, Jesus comes looking for us and calls us to come to him, to have our sins forgiven. There is no such thing as a person who is too bad for Jesus to come and look for them. The other people nearby, though, they weren't at all happy at what had happened to Zacchaeus. They were really cross and they started to grumble that Jesus was going to be a guest at the house of a sinner. They thought that Zacchaeus was far too bad and wicked a person for Jesus to go and visit him. Uh, they thought that Jesus would surely only want to go and visit good, respectable people. The trouble was, they thought that they were already good enough for God. They couldn't see that they were sinners too. And they didn't realise that nobody is too bad for Jesus to come and look for. Well, by the time Jesus and Zacchaeus got to his house, something totally remarkable had happened inside Zacchaeus's heart. Up until then, there was only one thing that mattered in his life. He wanted to make money and lots of it. And he didn't care very much how he got it. He didn't mind betraying his own people. He didn't mind trampling all over people, anybody who got in his way. And he didn't mind leaving somebody in total poverty. But now Jesus had come into his heart. Jesus had put a new life there. He was a completely changed man, a new man. The Bible says that the old person has passed away. And there is a new person now. Of course, 
this massive change in Zacchaeus could be seen straight away. He heard that everyone was grumbling about him being such a bad man and also criticising Jesus for going to his house. So he stood up and announced to everyone that he was going to give half of everything he owned to the poor. And if he had cheated anybody out of anything at all, he would pay back four times what he had stolen. The people were astonished at this change around. They could see by his actions that Zacchaeus was a completely changed man. And the main aim in his life wasn't any more to make lots of money and live a life of luxury. Now the aim of his life was to trust and to follow Jesus and to live a life that Jesus would be pleased with. Jesus told Zacchaeus that salvation had come to his house. He was saying that Zacchaeus was saved from his sins. Even though he was a very bad man, Jesus is able to save the very worst of people and completely change them. And they will be able to go and be with him in heaven. They are now part of God's family and God loves them dearly. Jesus came to find sinners, to save them, not people who were mistaken and thought they were already good enough for God. How could Jesus do this? Well, he was on his way to Jerusalem and he knew that he would be crucified there. He himself had done nothing wrong at all. In fact, he was perfect. But we have done many things wrong. And instead of us being punished for what we have done wrong, Jesus was punished in our place instead of us. He took our punishment. He was hung up on a cross to die because he took our punishment. We can go free. God can look on us as if we had never sinned at all. And Jesus did all of this because he loves us so much. I hope that Jesus will bring salvation to all our houses and to all our families. May God bless us all. And I look forward to seeing you again soon next time. Goodbye. And uh, that was today's lesson at Tabernacle Cardiff Sunday School. Uh, it's now time for this week's memory verse, uh, which is uh, coming up on the screen. Uh, and it's this one. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. And that's Luke chapter 19 and verse 10. Okay, so we'll say it once more together. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. And that's Luke chapter 19 and verse 10. Well, it's now time to have a look at uh, today's take-home sheets, uh, which are now available to download in one of the two usual ways, um, either by going to the uh, church's website, that's Tabernacle Cardiff, uh, .org, uh, or by clicking on the link uh, in the description box of this video. Uh, so this week it is lesson 59, you can see up on the screen. Uh, so make sure that the take-home sheet you have uh, has lesson 59 uh, at the top of it. Uh, and then uh, we can have a look at the uh, take-home sheets now. Um, we'll have a look first of all at the infant's take-home sheet. And there's an image there of um, uh, Zacchaeus. A wealthy tax man. And you've also got a Bible reading there at the top from Luke 19, uh, verse 1 to 10. So that's the uh, infant's 
um, take home sheets for this week. And if we have a look now at the juniors and the teenagers, again, uh, we've got uh, that image of Zacchaeus. And we've also got our memory verse there um, from uh, the Bible reading that we had earlier from Luke 19 and verse 10. For the Son of Man uh, is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Now, you've also got your Bible readings there and your questions um, as well. There's a lovely verse of a hymn there. Pass me not, O gentle Saviour. Uh, so that's the um, juniors and the uh, teenagers uh, downloadable take-home sheets. Uh, which are now available in the two usual ways. Uh, well, I did uh, promise a couple of weeks ago uh, that I might uh, show you a bit of a development in terms of the overall gallery um, of uh, this particular series, uh, where we've got some images. You can see now there, uh, there's the first um, uh, few uh, stories that we've had. Uh, we had three pre previously. Uh, we can add in then the army officer, uh, Mary and Martha, uh, and also from today's at Zacchaeus. So that's six uh, in all. And you can see that lovely um, image, can't you? That kind of scene uh, going from left to right. Uh, there's a few more yet. I think we go to lesson 64 to, to have them all in. Uh, so do make sure that you keep uh, all your take home sheets uh, from 55. And if you've missed one, um, they are on the website. Uh, you can go to the particular week and you can uh, still download uh, those take-home sheets. Well, let's uh, now have a look at your take-home sheets from last week. Well, that was uh, lovely uh, seeing all of your take home sheets uh, from last week. Uh, some very impressive colouring um, uh, this week. And uh, again, uh, it was lovely uh, to see those images there of, of Martha um, sweeping and cleaning the house. Uh, so do thank you very much for um, all of your take home sheets from last week uh, and uh, look forward to some more next week. Um, and incidentally, if you've uh, never sent in a take-home sheet, uh, then there are details in the description box. Uh, if you would like to um, send them in, there's an email address there uh, where you can send in your take-home sheets. Just send us a photo of your take-home sheets and we can include them in next week's gallery. Well, let's now uh, sing our closing hymn together. Uh, and it's uh, this one, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Uh, this is what Zacchaeus did uh, today. We learnt in a lesson today, uh, he turned uh, from his worldly and his wicked ways and he turned his eyes upon Jesus. Listen to the words of this hymn. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Oh, oh, oh. 
Well, it's been lovely to have you with us here today at Tabernacle Cardiff Sunday School. And I trust uh, it's been a blessing to you too to be with us here at Sunday School. Well, it's now time uh, to bring uh, Sunday School to a close. Uh, so let's uh, come to our Heavenly Father now in prayer. Uh, so let's make sure that we're sat nice and still. Let's have our hands together and our eyes closed. Our gracious God and our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you that it is your day. And we thank you, Lord, that we have been able to come uh, to Sunday school today, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for what we have learnt. Lord, we thank you for the uh, account of Zacchaeus, Lord. And Lord, we uh, learnt that where he was lost, Lord, Lord, you found him. And we thank you, Lord, that he was able to turn his eyes upon Jesus. Lord, we pray for each and every uh, child. Lord, we pray that wherever they are, you might speak to their hearts, Lord, and show them their need of a saviour. Show them their need uh, to turn their eyes upon Jesus. And help them, Lord, not to be lost in this world, but to be found in Jesus. Lord, we thank you and praise you. Uh, for your word and for what it teaches us. And Lord, we pray for um, each and every one of us, Lord, wherever we are. We pray that you might keep us safe and from harm uh, this week, Lord, and bring us back, God willing, to Sunday school. Uh, next Lord's Day, God willing. Uh, for we ask all these things in our Saviour's name, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.